All right, so a lot to get into with this video. We're talking about summer shorts, at least 10 pairs. I don't know exactly how many I have in here. I'm trying not to repeat items. So if I've shown them to you even last year or in a previous video, they're not gonna be in here. I still love Eric Emanuel shorts. I still really like Mitchell and S shorts. They're not in here. Those are great shorts. Go check out some other videos if you wanna see those brands. Also, I have a ton to talk about in here, so I'm gonna try to be pretty brief and quick and keep it moving. However, if you wanna know where my mental space is at right now, I urge you to check out my previous video. I'm not gonna talk about it here, but the last upload I had, go watch that. Everyone that has messed with it, thank you. I, I'm, I'm glad I stepped out and said how I felt. This is probably the most open I've ever been on this channel. So go check that out, please. And all of these shorts are gonna be linked down in the description. More importantly than the links to these, there's also gonna be a GoFundMe page. I'm gonna update that link however often I feel like. Anytime I come across a GoFundMe page that fights racism and supports the black community and I like it and I actually donate to it, it's gonna be down in this description and that will be a common theme with videos going forward. You will see GoFundMe and educational type stuff where you can go and check out those programs. And the lighting is just gonna be crazy today because it's partly cloudy. I get a little bit of natural light, then it's cloudy, then it's super bright, so sorry about that. So I'm clearly excited to talk about all this stuff, so we're gonna dive into it right now. Where do I wanna start? Where do I wanna start? Do I go simple? Do I go crazy right out of the gate? What, what am I doing here? Okay, we're gonna start off with a basic and essential pair. These are Nike woven shorts. I showed them to you in my top 10 summer essentials. So I'm not gonna talk about this particular pair much longer, just wanted to show them to you really quick because they're simple and they just have some Nike branding on them. If you like your shorts, simple, this is a great pair. I bought the same pair, the same model, I guess you could say, just a little bit crazier. So it's got this all over black and white Nike swoosh, like graffiti hand scribble type design and then a red Nike logo embroidered on the left side and I thought that little bit of contrast right there was cool. So if you feel like flossing the Nike swoosh a little extra this summer, this is a good pair to check out. Before I continue, some sizing info. I'm 6'2", 190, and I typically take a size large in shorts. I will go XL if I'm a little hesitant that they're gonna be too snug, but for the most part, all of these shorts are size large, and if they're an XL, I'll point it out. Okay, next up, probably my favorite pair of shorts in this video. These are from Pleasures, and this is an all over woven floral print. Now, these shorts are crazy. The floral pattern is literally woven into the material. I've never seen a pair of shorts quite like this. These are from Unknown, which is a boutique in Miami. LeBron James is part owner of that boutique and down in the description, the GoFundMe page, you're gonna see is actually organized by unknown. So feel free to educate yourself and read up on that and the different organizations that they're working with. This is actually the first time I've ever bought from them and it won't be the last. But floral print shorts have never been more in style. This season, they're super trendy. You're gonna see them from a lot of different brands. This one in particular, the materials are really what drew me in, but you can get floral print shorts in a lot of different places. Highly suggest you throw them in there. I'm actually gonna stick with a similar floral print theme and show you guys these, the most affordable option on this list. So we got floral print shorts from H&M. These hit for $17.99, certainly very affordable. I was wearing them in my how-to style New Balance lookbook. If you missed that video, go check it out. That whole outfit where I'm wearing this is actually from H&M, an affordable outfit for you. Given the price point, I had really low expectations for these shorts, but they're actually built more like a pair of khaki shorts. They're thin, which is good for in the summer. And as you can see, it's got this floral print mixed with a cheetah print. Literally, there's a cheetah on these. And I thought that these were cool, they're fun. You don't break the bank when you buy a pair. So this is a great pair to just throw in to spice up your outfit. Maybe you're wearing just a basic color top. Something like this will really change the look of your outfit. Where are we going next? Let's go with some basketball shorts, okay? So I don't think I've ever gone a summer without wearing basketball shorts casually. It's an absolute must. And these pairs that I'm gonna show you from 199 are excellent. This is one of the cooler pairs of college basketball shorts 
that I've ever seen. This particular one is St. John's Red Storm. I just love the throwback design of these shorts and all the shorts that they offer. They did send these to me, however, I would gladly buy them. The price point is 70 bucks, which isn't too bad, and they have so many different options in teams and styles that I've never seen. This is a small business and, you know, going up against the giants that are out there as far as, you know, sports licensing goes, it's pretty difficult. This one is Seton Hall with a small SH Pirates logo on the left side. These are very comfortable too, by the way. They have seven inch inseams and, oh damn, I really haven't talked about inseams much, but I should just do a whole separate video about sizing on shorts and all that stuff. And then this pair is certainly special. I love these. Providence College is my favorite college basketball team and it has the throwback PC swoosh logo on the left side. Come on, man, these are so cool. I'm showing out for my team and rocking these things all summer. I like that they're just simple black and white with that throwback logo. Check out 19.9, I'll have it linked down in the description. Okay, so speaking of throwback nostalgia, I gotta get some of my own stuff in here. We got Umbro checkerboard shorts, AKA Winbros. I dropped these with my first spring and summer collection, which is also this hat and this t-shirt. Most of it's sold out. Thank you to anyone that bought anything. I truly appreciate it. You should have your stuff by now. Hope you enjoy wearing it. But these shorts were one of my favorite pieces from this collection. I grew up wearing Umbro checkerboard shorts. I literally would wear them everywhere, school, beach, wherever I went, I was rocking these shorts. They're super lightweight. They've got that throwback style fit where they're shorter but baggy. And then obviously that checkerboard design on there. And uh, shout out to Umbro for helping me get this done. If you did not get a pair, don't worry. I should be doing more. I'm gonna include them with all of my summer drops this summer. Well, I don't wanna say all of them, but a lot of my summer drops this summer are gonna include Umbro shorts. They're just so easy to wear, lightweight, breathable, Absolutely love this pair of shorts. So again, thank you to anyone that copped anything. Let's keep it moving. Okay, switching gears a little bit. You have to have a nice pair of khaki shorts in your rotation. All of this stuff, everything I'm showing you here is a casual pair of shorts. These shorts are not dressy. I'm not thinking you're gonna wear this stuff with like a polo tucked in or anything like that. This is not really what this video is aimed towards. However, if you wanna wear a polo untucked or a nice casual t-shirt that's pretty simple or basic. You gotta have a nice pair of khaki shorts to go with those. And these are actually from PacSun and they're affordable. PacSun is a great place to buy shorts for the low. They made mesh shorts last summer that they're not making this year hurt me. Now, if you wanna step up your khaki short game with a little bit better quality, a little bit better of a brand, as far as menswear goes, you can check out J. Crew. This is their dock short in camo. Now, they make this in all different types of basic and essential colors. I wanted to go with camo, and I bought them in an extra large because I forget why. I don't know if I was thinking that they were gonna be too snug or if they just didn't have a large. And realistically, I needed a large. I can make up for it by tying the waistband a little bit more, but I do wish that these were large. So go with your true size. Really nice quality and build. They're always on sale. I guarantee when I'm making this video, they're on sale. So I'll link them for you guys with whatever promo code they have going on. Okay, and then an absolute staple in the streetwear world, in the outdoorsy world, in anyone that wears shorts world, this is a pair of Patagonia five inch baggies. You can catch anybody wearing these from Kanye West to your favorite country singer. These are easily the most comfortable pair on this list. I don't know how. It's just like this incredibly soft nylon material. They look a little bit like a bathing suit, like a lot of these nylon shorts do, but it still has that outdoor athletic type feel to it. I don't know, if you get a pair in, it'll make sense. It's got a small Patagonia patch on the left side. That's pretty much the only detailing with these. There's a bunch of different colors and they call them five inch baggies because the inseam is five inches, which is really short. However, the shorts themselves are very baggy. They're wide, they're easy to maneuver in. These are very popular right now as well and a bunch of different brands have copied this fit and style and released their own. The Nike woven shorts, these, or more in particular, this pair, 
is definitely a very similar version. So Patagonia baggies, get you some, get you some. Sounds like Mike Rich, shout out Mike Rich. Great YouTube channel, check him out. Okay, so how many pairs of shorts was that? Because I have another pair, do I, I don't even, how many have I done? Who cares, I'm just showing them to you, I don't care. These are Nike, <laughs> these are New Balance shorts. I showed them to you in my Summer Essentials video, so this is just an inclusion that's very brief. I'm wearing a pair, no I'm not, I'm wearing Umbros. Dude, I need to get it together, need to get it together. <laughs> Reset. These are ripstop material. They've got New Balance branding on the right side as well as the left. Very lightweight. They have a very technical type feel because of that material draw cord up top and you could go running in these, you could go hiking very much an outdoors type pair of shorts. Next, Nike ACG shorts, absolutely fire. I love these things. It's got this crazy all over print that's loud. When it comes to shorts this summer, I don't really care. Like I'll wear anything. I don't know, when I wear a t-shirt, I'm like very specific as far as what the brand is, what the logo is. Same thing with pants and all that stuff, but shorts, I don't care. Like that, it kind of shows it in this video where I have H&M, Pleasures, New Balance, Nike, Patagonia, I have Champion that I'm gonna show you in a second. I'll wear any brand with any kind of print. I'll go wild, I'll go basic, it doesn't matter. I don't know, that's just kinda how I'm feeling. ACG from Nike has been killing it this year and last year. I like the whole outdoor vibe and their footwear. I just unboxed a pair not long ago and there's moccasins that are like tie-dye that I like their t-shirts and I don't know why I've never really been into ACG prior, but it's got my attention. Just a fun pair of vibrant shorts, definitely feeling them. Let me know if you guys have been rocking with ACG at all. And if there's any brands that I missed here or you wanna recommend something, definitely leave it down in the comment section. These deserve the hanger treatment. Okay, I've got one pair left in two different colors. And if you're like me, you've been watching the Last Dance. Well, it's over, but you watched the Michael Jordan Bulls documentary, The Last Dance. You probably noticed everything that they're wearing in that documentary, I want. I'm like, damn, that Bulls practice jersey, I want those. And in a lot of those clips, they're wearing Bulls champion shorts. Now these are not Bulls, but they are champion and they are from the 90s. This was something I found off eBay. I wanted to go ahead and get a pair of champion sweat shorts. However, there's a couple reasons why I didn't get the ones that are just online offered by champion. For some reason, they don't have pockets. A lot of gym shorts and sweat shorts don't have pockets. And I don't know what type of person you are where you can go about your day or operate without pockets on your pants. How is that possible? Unless you have a bag of some sort, like a cross body bag or a backpack on, even then it's kind of annoying. Where are you putting your keys, your wallet and your cell phone? I don't know, me, I need pockets. So what I noticed was that the older pairs of Champion sweat shorts have pockets on them. So I scoured eBay and I found two pairs of these shorts for $25 total. What a steal, absolutely a steal. So I essentially thrifted these online. The person I bought these from said they've never been worn and they look like they've never been worn. They honestly look brand new. So to have these is very cool. I plan on wearing them often. There's newer versions. Champion has been pumping out a bunch of stuff. So if you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to hit the comment section. I'll get right back to you. Please hit the thumbs up on this one if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And again, go check out some of the previous videos I did, especially the last one. Thank you guys for continuing to rock with me. A lot of stuff is on the way. Hope you enjoy this one. I'll catch you later. Peace.